Okay, I'm just asking for a friend here. Friend, uh, do you need ever need a cup of coffee to get you through to the next cup of coffee? Again, asking for a friend. Yeah. Not for me. Well, if you're like Heather, I mean <laughs> Heather's friend, then Mikey Hood has a tour that you are absolutely going to love. Some of the best shops to make a stop for coffee in the burg. Our acting is terrible. <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> I think there's two schools of thought with coffee. One, it's an impulse buy. The other, you, you kind of plan your morning around it. Step inside Kelvin, a wholesale coffee roaster and cafe in the Larimer neighborhood of Pittsburgh, where they source a majority of the coffee directly from Peru and Honduras. It's tropical. We wanted to bring in similar feelings and kind of a vibe into the spots. People get to have what we consider to be like a more authentic experience of coffee. They roast their coffee lightly and source it from high altitudes, resulting in higher amounts of sugar and acidity. And they use this. It's called a ProBot UG15. Originally built in the 1960s, it's a unique way to roast coffee. It allows us to, to ramp up heat really quickly to kind of get that clean, bright acidity that, that we're looking for. The idea is we don't want the coffee to taste um, like it's been affected in any way. We want it to be like transparent. So coffee comes from like a uh, fruit, comes like from a cherry. Um, it is a fruit and so it should taste naturally sweet. You'll find tropic tonics with a shot of espresso, oat milk or caramel lattes, and they even serve breakfast burritos from Baby Loves Tacos on the weekend. That if we create cool space, uh, and we do something exciting and interesting enough that, that people are going to come. While I was east, I head over to Everyday Cafe in Homewood, where they hire neighborhood youth to run the shop. Here you can get premium coffee and delicious food. I try their traditional latte and a strawberry smoothie. Both were smooth, delicious, and served with a smile. If you happen to be in the Strip District, stop by Colombino. You won't need a mule to get authentic Colombian coffee here. Right now I'm making the pistachio milk latte. At this coffee stand, you'll find specialty coffee, fresh cacao chocolates used to make a delicious hot chocolate, and authentic Colombian snacks too. And if you want to stay in your car, there's a great way to get good, authentic coffee fast. Um, our white mochas are really exceptional, so are our iced mochas double-sided drive through It's called Bean Through. They have locations in Bellevue and in Shaler. I tried their signature latte and an iced coffee. Both were delicious and flavorful. After we make a drink, we always make sure to put a chocolate-covered espresso bean on top. It just adds an extra treat and it makes our coffee just a little bit more special than it already is. With so much caffeine today, I probably won't be able to sleep tonight, but it was all so worth it. I'm Mikey Hood for PTO. Mikey may not sleep for days. Yeah, that's a lot of coffee. It's a lot of caffeine to take in. Sign me up, though. You would be on to it. That, I love that she did this, and it's interesting to go inside some of the shops and oh, see yeah. how the process of roasting the beans. That was really neat. You know what? I mean, I like coffee. I don't love coffee, but the smell of coffee, I oh. love. There's something about just that smell. It's I great. love coffee. Love it. <laughs>